the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, one of the largest banks in the U.S., in March 2023, has been attributed to poor management, inadequate government oversight, and insufficient regulations, according to a report released by the Federal Reserve. The bank's balance sheet had grown from $71 billion to $211 billion over a period of two years, and its failure was the second largest since the 2008 financial crisis. The report cited a combination of mismanagement, supervisory missteps, and a social media frenzy as the cause of the bank's collapse. The bank's executives failed to manage interest rate risk, while the federal regulators failed to understand the depth of the bank's problems and were too slow to react. Social media amplified fears about the bank, and the ease of digital withdrawals led to a deposit run, that ultimately led to the bank's closure. We intend to provide current affairs in 5 minutes packs. Please, support us through your likes and shares, and subscribe our channel for more 5 minute video packs. The review identified 4 key reasons for the bank's failure, the board and management's failure to manage risk insufficient appreciation by Federal Reserve supervisors about the extent of the vulnerabilities, lack of swift action by supervisors to rectify problems, and a delayed supervisory approach. Michael Barr, the Fed's vice chair for supervision, has called for broad changes in the way regulators approach the financial system, including the need to continuously evaluate the supervisory and regulatory framework and be humble about their ability to assess and identify new and emerging risks. The report has been welcomed by Fed Chair Jerome Powell, who supports the recommendations to address the rules and supervisory practices, which he believes will lead to a stronger and more resilient banking system. According to Krishna Guha, the report sets the stage for far-reaching re-regulation and tougher supervision of mid-sized banks. Regulators will likely focus on the types of uninsured deposits that raised concerns during the SVB crisis as well as cultural changes to improve the supervision of banks. The collapse of SVB, which was the 17th largest bank in the US, has raised fears of a wider financial crisis and led to calls for reversing some of the deregulatory measures taken in recent years. The fundamental role of banks is to act as intermediaries between depositors and borrowers, earning a profit by charging higher interest rates on loans than they pay out to depositors. This business model relies on having a diverse set of depositors, whose funds come and go on an individual account basis, but provide stability on an aggregate level. However, a common failure mode for banks is a bank run, where depositors quickly pull their funds out of fear that the bank is running out of liquid assets, causing the bank to fail. The establishment of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, in 1933, was a critical turning point in preventing bank runs from becoming contagious. The FDIC provided insurance for deposit accounts up to $2,500, which prevented depositors from losing their money, even if a bank went out of business. The mere existence of the FDIC was enough to stop bank runs before they even began, giving depositors the confidence to keep their money in the banks. Silicon Valley Bank became technically insolvent, due to a shift in their lending strategy, to longer-term securities for higher yield in 2021, leading to a large chunk of their assets being illiquid. Depositors started to withdraw their money, including startups who deposited the cash they received from investors. This, along with the surge in interest rates, caused a bank run, leading to fears that the bank would run out of money, and more withdrawals. The FDIC stepped in and took over the operations of Silicon Valley Bank, which prevented the bank run from becoming contagious and saved the bank from going bankrupt. The FDIC's role in preventing bank runs goes back to the Great Depression, when bank failures were a common occurrence and people lost their life savings as a result. The FDIC's insurance on deposit accounts gave people the confidence to keep their money in the banks, preventing bank runs from happening. In the case of Silicon Valley Bank, the FDIC's intervention was critical in stopping the bank run and preventing it from spreading to other banks. The FDIC's takeover of the bank's operations also ensured that depositors' money was protected and they didn't lose their savings. 
the FDIC role is indeed important in maintaining the stability of the banking system. Without the FDIC's insurance on deposit accounts, and without its ability to intervene in the case of a bank run, the consequences for depositors and the broader economy could be severe. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe our channel for more videos.